All right, let's get into these logarithmic functions. All right, this is the intro. This is the first page. It kind of just tells us a little bit about the basics and um, introduces a logarithmic function, which we are going to learn is the inverse of an exponential function. What well, that means, things switch, right? If we have an exponential function, and here's one of those common, like, power, or, I'm sorry, exponential function we've seen with a base of b and a power of x, right? When you do this, the values of the exponents are the inputs, right? We're plugging in inputs into that exponent and, the, and delivers the corresponding, well, powers of two, right? As outputs, so I inputs go in the exponents and your outputs are, hey, all the powers of two, right? The inverse of this function, the one we just talked about up here, is the inverse function of x, which is log base 2 of x. The logarithm with base 2 of x or log base 2 of x. That's how you say it. Your base is there, just as your base was here. Your base doesn't change. What changes is the inputs and the outputs. All right. Recall the domain of a function are reversed when finding the function's inverse. So the inverse, log base 2 of x, except powers of 2 as the inputs. Remember, the powers of 2 is where the outputs right here. All right? And delivers the corresponding exponents as the output. Let me just show you one that, so if I said log base 2 of 4, this really says, what power of 2 gives you 4? Right? What power of 2 gives you 4? My input is now the, the old output, and my output is now the power. 2 to the second power gives me 4. So, all right. So, this graph and the graph of, well, the 2 to the power of x are going to be shown down here. And all we're going to do is we're going to reverse them. All right? We're going to reverse these points to get it. So, this 3 to the 8, 2 to the third power is 8. Log base 8, log base 2 of 8 is 3. And we're just reversing 3, 8 to 8, 3. Log base 2 of 4 is 2. Of 4 is 2. Log base 2 of 2 is 1. And so on. This 0, 1 is going to turn into 1, 0. This negative 1, 1. 1.5 is going to be 1 point, or 0. 0.5, negative 1. This um, negative 2 and 1 fourth is going to turn into uh, 1 fourth and negative 2. And let's go ahead and graph that. We can see some stuff has changed, right? The asymptote used to be y equals 0. Well, if you look at this, our asymptote is now x equals 0, right? The domain used to go forever and the range didn't. But look, my range now goes forever. I go down forever and up forever. So it's negative infinity to infinity. And my domain, now my x values are limited. It only goes down to 0 and up to infinity. Let me move that on here so you can see it a little better. All right. Now, so let's reverse those. <clears throat> I'm going to put, and notice that this used to be 3, 8. Now my input is the power of 2. And to get it, you say, hey, what power of 2 gives you 8? The third power of 2 gives you 8. What power of 2 gives you 4? The second power of 2 gives you 4. What power of 2 gives you 2? Well, 2 to the first power is 2. Right? What power of 2 gives you 1? Well, 2 to the 0 power. And we can see all these, right? 1, 0, right? This is 2, 1. This is 4, 2. So and let's just reverse those. We have, what, well, what power of 2 gives you 1 half? Well, 2 to the negative first power gives you 1 half. What power of 2? Oh, I didn't plug that in right. Look at me. That should have been a 4. My. I should have been plugging in what they gave me, and I didn't. I kind of went backwards through here. Um, the, it works. Everything I said works. They kind of went the other way. So I'm going to put that 8, 3 down here. I'm going to put that 4, 2 down here. I'm going to put that 2, 1 here. I apologize. All right. I'm going to put 1. What power of 2 gives you 1? Well, 2 to the 0. So it's just reversing places. What power of 2 gives you 1 half? Well, 
2 to the negative first. What power of 2 gives you 1 fourth? Well, 2 to the negative second power. Apologize. But everything I said is true. We've got to say it twice now. All right. When you come down here, it says this. The inverse of 2 to the x, the inverse of that is log base 2 of x. So the inverse of 3 to the x, the inverse of that is log base 3 of x. The input verse of this, the inverse, right, of 6x is log base 6 of x. The inverse of this, I'll write it, inverse of that is log base 3 halves, right, of x. And those are inverse functions. So just to review, logs are the inverse of exponential functions, and that's it for now.